Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday here at the Connecticut Science Center in our capital city, joined by Nate Gagnon. Hey, Mark, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Great, great. Uh, we should point out that here at the Science Center, with this particular segment, we're going to be rotating through STEM educators over the coming weeks and months, which is super exciting. Yeah, you're going to get to see a whole bunch of different types of science activities uh, by a whole bunch of different types of science people. All right, and what do you have for us today? Oh, awesome. So uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to make some dry erase drawings actually float and move around. Sounds great. Um, so we can't use a permanent marker for this. Okay. Because permanent markers are pretty permanent. permanent. Yeah. Um, permanent markers are really, really sticky, we can think of it. They stick to paper really well. They stick to dry erase boards really well, and it's hard to get them off. Um, a dry erase marker or a whiteboard marker is not quite as sticky. Okay. It's, um, it's got like almost like an oil in it. So think of it as you're writing it, you're actually like putting down almost like cooking uh, spray down okay. while you do it, so it's easy to remove off the surface. Gotcha. Um, so what you need to do this at home is just some sort of smooth surface. Glass works really well, some metals and things like that. And, and maybe then, with some depth too, because yeah, that's gonna be key in what we do next. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, and then some dry erase markers. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw inside. Okay. Uh, any shapes you want. Um, I've seen a lot of people do stick figures. Uh, I'm gonna do one stick figure. Can I do like a sun? I think that seems yeah. kind of... Yeah. Mm. And then maybe I'll do like the cloud. I hope I can like fix it too. Thicker lightning bolts oh, nice. so floats. So I need to like fill it in, right? Or no, we don't have to fill you it in. You don't have to fill it in. Oh, okay. Well, I'm okay. filling it in just for yeah. fun. All right. So, so I have a very odd looking sun. All right. <laughs> so what happened now is this um, the ink has dried um, across, I almost made like a polymer, like a film on top of it. Okay. And this film is actually less dense than water and it's not sticking. So if we take a little bit of water and pour it in slowly, kind of from the side. Okay. And this is just tap water. So this is again something people can do at home. Yeah. What we'll see is that that film oh, will actually goodness. start to rise up. Oh, my stick figure's doing a dance. Oh, I like how your clouds are moving around. Yeah. And now, moving and floating around. Oh, look at that. How awesome. Yeah. And you can take your pan and move it back and forth. And if Maybe you want to at home draw a picture underneath so that we can see this moving image oh, going around. Very good. And then, like I said, there's a film here. So actually, I'm going to take it. I'm just going to pick the whole thing up. And you can see oh, yeah. it's just like a polymer, like a plastic yeah. film. Good stuff. So always fun to do these types of experiments, these demonstrations at home. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So dry erase marker. Maybe a piece of white paper, like you said, you can Just do so something you can beneath. See. Yeah, and, and or then, you can draw, yeah. And then you can draw on your on your glass. So, all right, good stuff. Um, we should let folks know about something really cool happening here at the Science Center. Your traveling exhibition space has something new. Yeah, uh, science fiction, science future is a new exhibit that we have up in there. It's got all types of cool, fun, like things from the future. Uh -huh. There's augmented reality. You can put yourself uh, in different spaces. You can beam yourself up like Star Trek. It's really fun. Awesome. So because it's in the traveling exhibition space, it's only here for a limited amount of time. Right. Yeah. Uh, but it is included with general admission or your membership. Mm -hmm. All right. So ctsciencecenter.org is where you can go to learn more about all the offerings here at the Connecticut Science Center. In the meantime, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.